Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Battle Revolution The Last of Us and this is the final battle with my Rain Dance team and if you can see we are up against a mono electric team by the looks of things and uh, technically I am weak to everything that there is on the opposing side of the field because come on um, yeah, Electivi can pretty much Earthquake my two Rock types, Toxicroak, Electrode, and deal some damage with Electric type moves as well. So, you know, generally, I'm not in a good position here. And l nonetheless, I'm going to do the best I can to make a battle out of this. So, um, when I decide to in the future, we will get this battle in the way. Yes, no, wait, I'm betting on my opponent. So, um, yeah, there we go. So we're going up against Alice. Oof. Anyway, so the Magma Coliseum is appropriate because if you have a Rain Dance team, you really want to show them off on a Magma Coliseum. It is so fitting and appropriate, right? So um I'm not gonna lie, I've studied my opponent, Pokemon I've battled them before. I'm sorry I hate this from you. But um I know who they are, I know what they do. And I know their leads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to ruin the strategy because they played very nasty the other time. If you see battles um, between 131 to 170, I had a few games with this guy back in the day, and I know what his strategy is all about. I've also had some off-camera battles. I've won some, I've lost some, but oh well. So. Um, in this battle, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to foil his obvious strategies of setting up because that's what he does in this turn. And um, a great battler once told me that first turn in doubles you always set up, and second turn you go for the offensive once you're set up. And uh, that great, great battler is a Trico, and whatever he said up to now is very accurate and very proper and appropriate. So. Instead of Rain Dance, I'm going to go for the Torrent because I do not want to set up Thunders coming from those two guys because it's a very terrible risk. So I'm going to go straight for the attack with Energy Ball here because you will soon see why I chose the moves I went for instead of Fake Out. So Lantern here goes for the Stockpile, which means that it will die to the second Energy Ball. And um, defenses go up, yes. And uh, then Ampharos is Ampharos you know, practically immobilized because he went for a setup move. Now, uh, I kind of crippled my opponent in the, the sense that they do not have much to do here. So, um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go for a. Well, I was like, wait, should I go for a surf and kill with Electrode so I can uh, deal damage? I'm like, will it kill Ampho uh, Lantern at plus one? I wanted to take my chances. Lantern was you know, powerless here from now on. When your uh, opponent has less HP than it has to, uh, when the opposing Pokemon has less, less well, well, okay, you just get the drill. Uh, stockpile doesn't really work it's when you are not at full HP. So. Um, Ludicolo goes for the surf because I have a purpose. What is the purpose here? What What is the purpose? Um, I go for a critical hit and I crit my own Electrode here, by the way, which is awesome. Yay, well done. Well done, Ludicolo. Thank you very much. And um, Luke, by the way, I'm using Ludicolo, so there's not much you can say about it, right? So, uh, I one-shot Ampharos with a critical hit. I mean, this Ludicolo is a ramp rampage. Dear me. Anyway, so this thing is a monster, okay? It decides to be like a ginormous monster thing. And uh, my opponent goes for a blizzard attack. Not much will happen here because, come on, I'm a Ludicolo, and Ludicolos are horses. So I was like, should I send out Pomastar? Yes, I should, because I haven't used him in ages. So, um, if anyone of you guys catch, um, have caught the battle with me in the Insane Gamers, he sweeped me with an Omastar. I had a Spirit Tomb that he one-shotted without a crit, with a Life War boosted, um, what do you call it? Hydro Pump. This thing is a monster, it is so underrated. Ladies and gentlemen, it should be used more often. But no, actually I prefer that it's not used more often because that means that I get to be more original than my opponent's will. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go for the Earth Power and kill the Magna Zone because, you know, four times weakness unless it has the um, Shuka Berry, then I am completely screwed. 
So, I'm gonna go for the energy ball on the lantern, force my opponent to send out their last Pokemon and see what they're up to. Magnezone can do some damage with Thunder, can take both of my guys regardless. Effortlessly, a Thunder from a Magnezone on Ludicolo and Omastar will be decimating, so no problem there. So I'm guessing that there is a discharge combo going on here because Lantern does have lightning rod or yeah li lightning rod. So um, my opponent might be like, okay, I'm gonna go for the discharge, heal up my Lantern, deal damage on the opposing Pokemon, get some paralysis hacks while I'm at it, and uh, he gets to stockpile on me again, which is which is kind of sneaky. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. So you know, th there's not much I can do in, this, in, in these cases. So, Omastar goes Omastar for the Earth Power, takes it out in one hit, doesn't have the sturdy of 6th gen and 5th gen, does not have to, uh, does not have a Focus Sash, doesn't have a Shooker Berry, which means that Magnezone won't take that berry. So my guys are pretty much sweeping shit here, effortlessly. So, um, Lantern goes down, no problem. And, uh, I'm expecting to see what I will face, uh, soon enough, so, let's see. Um, he has Elective Wire, Raichu, or, um, Jolteon to choose from, no wait, did he use Jolteon? No, he has one of those three to choose. Um, Elective Wire, yeah. I'm thinking Elective Wire and Jolteon, uh, it would be totally commendable, why not? So, I still have the Rain up, by the way, no problem whatsoever. So, um, in comes Electivar, I'm like, yikes, this thing can pack a punch, so, I'm like, should I go for a Hydro Pump it now? I'm a chicken, I'm going to, um, I'm going to play it safe here, because I want Cabotops to see the field, and I want to end the game with both of the Kanto fossils side by side, which is, which is kind of cool, don't you think? So, um, I'm going to, no, come on, opponent, pick your moves already, we're getting old here. So, um, um, look how cool the, the evolved Helix fossil looks. I mean, I have the Lord Helix himself. The yeah, but people are going to be like, no, Lord Helix is overnight. Well, no, no, no. So, anyway. Um, in comes Kabutops, because I love this thing. And Omosar goes for an Earth Power, will not be able to take it out in one shot, because, come on, it's Electivire, that thing is bulky as hell. And they will go for a Thunder Punch on my uh, Omosar, but come on. Omastar is a boss, he can take hits all day long, no problem. I have the sun, uh, sorry, the rain up. I have a um, fake out, no problem whatsoever. So, I can go for a hydro pump, I don't care. I have got this in the bag, no problem. And, uh, Kabutops, um, I can protect here, you know, just so... Oh, oh, wait, what did I go for? I actually forgot what I went for. So anyway, yeah, it doesn't really matter because my opponent decided to give up. So as I said, the two fossils side by side, ending the game in style. That is Bosco, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next battle. Thank you for watching. Till then, next time.